What's going on guys? We're back here in the kitchen and coming at you a little bit disappointed today because I feel like I am getting a sickness coming over me and unfortunately because of that I gotta take another rest day today. And if you know anything about me, if you've seen any of my previous videos, especially the Blitz, I'm not too fond of having to take rest days. You know, I like to push, and there's definitely a time to push through sickness, illness, maybe you have an important competition, maybe you have a show coming up, maybe there's all kinds of different factors, but the place that I'm in right now in this bulk, as early as it is, there's no reason for me to push through the illness until I get better. That being said, tomorrow I'll be training, but I thought I needed to take today as a rest day, let my body recover so the illness doesn't turn into something that takes five, six days away from me. And I felt this coming on this morning, didn't get very good sleep last night, felt this coming on this morning, woke up with cough, a little bit of phlegm. And so I was going to, usually my go-to when this happens is go get IV therapy. I get high dose vitamin C, they have an immune boost type cocktail, uh, get a B12 add on with that. There's usually um, some you know, different vitamins and minerals that you get intravenously from a med spa, essentially. And every time I've had this, it just clears the sickness right up. I'm ready to go. I could honestly do things that day. Today, I didn't wanna go through that. It is quite expensive. Um, so our Jewish process, obviously you have to get an IV. And so I decided I would just, I, you know, I have a lot of supplements that I already take. I decided to up the dose of my vitamin C, take the rest of my supplements and see if my body could kick it that way. So I gave it a chance and then I took a nap this afternoon. Another reason why the video yesterday was out a little bit later, but I took a nap this afternoon woke up from the nap and realized that my body wasn't feeling it today. I wasn't ready to go. So it's okay. Like I always say, we adapt, we change, we get better. There's rocks in the road. You're going to have setbacks. You have to be able to anticipate those, react and act appropriately. So that's what we're doing. We're going to take a day off today. Now, if I still feel ill tomorrow, what I'll do is in the morning, go and get the IV therapy and then I'll be able to train in the evening tomorrow. So that is the plan, barring any major setbacks, like a severe turn of illness tomorrow where I can't even get out of bed. Not expecting that, I think this is pretty minor. Hopefully it's pretty minor. Praying to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, that it is minor. But we'll see, and if you know it's, it gets a little bit worse, we'll go get the IV therapy and we'll be back in the gym, <clears throat> excuse me, tomorrow hitting push and you know, I'm mentioned to get back in there. I, I was, you know, the first three days of this bulk, I was in a pretty great groove so much. So I had to take a rest day because I was sore. Now this isn't a rest day because I'm sore. My chest and shoulders are ready for work, but systemically I'm just not ready to go in there today, unfortunately, because I'm ill. So that's the story. We don't have to drag it out too far. That's um, fortunately the video for the day today. Appreciate you guys watching. Anyways, one of my videos is almost up to a thousand views. I think that's fantastic. You know, it uh, feels, I love being able to bring you along. Hopefully I'm inspiring someone. And this is just to show that, yeah, I'm human. Of course, I get ill, I have sickness. But the thing that sets people apart from just being normal from being ordinary to extraordinary is the ability to one, stay consistent and two, battle through adversity. So that's what I'm hoping to demonstrate with the next couple of days. Regardless, it's imperative I'm back in the gym tomorrow. That is extremely important. And I will make sure that happens because if I am sick still in the morning, if I go to sleep, wake up and I'm still sick, I'm gonna go get IV therapy. That's just the decision I made because I can't let this derail my progress too much. And if there are remedies out there available that will make me feel better, why wouldn't I take advantage of them? So that's the plan. 
Anyways, five minutes of content here. I know it's not the best. I know it's not the most exciting. But like I said, appreciate you guys watching. And short, this is probably the shortest video I've made. So um, what else is happening? I've been working on a song. I uh, probably won't. I, there's a bridge left. That's it. The whole song is done. Made the beat. Amazing sample. Amazing chorus. Amazing verse. I have one little bridge part left. Have it written. I just need to record it. I want it to sound really powerful. It's kind of. One of the most powerful parts of the track, so I want to try to get it right. I also don't want to crowd my creative studio with sickness, so I'm balancing that. But there's just one little part left, and then that song will be done. One of my favorites I've ever created. So that's the story there. But um, yeah, you know, it sucks when you have a lot of momentum being built, and then you hit a setback, and it feels like your momentum is slowing down or beginning to halt. But you have to keep perspective in those situations, especially this situation. Remember the work that you put in, remember the plan, continue to detail the plan so you know what to do when you do start to feel better. And the rest, you have to leave it up to God. You have to let God do his magic and put you where you need to be. So that's the story, guys. That's the story. We will see you, next time I see you will be tomorrow pre-workout. I'll give you the 10. Uh, four, I guess 10, four. I'll give you the 10, four, the four, one, one. I'll give you the entire recap of the IV therapy. If it is needed, I'll detail out the workout that we're about to complete. And then I'm going to attack the gym more vigorously than I ever have in any of these videos. And it's going to be the best workout that I've had yet. That's the plan. And we are going to execute. So We'll see you guys pre-workout back in the kitchen here tomorrow.